the Folkwangshan Buddha Museum. The museum officially opened to the public in 2011 and houses some interesting treasures from around the world. Inside the front hall you will find a variety of shops and restaurants with interesting Buddhist inspired products for sale. Our tummies were rumbling so we decided to visit the buffet restaurant on the second floor. We got our tickets and headed upstairs and were met with friendly monk staff who showed us how to proceed. So for 150 NT you can have this amazing meal. Uh, all vegetarian, of course, the way the Buddha likes it. The perfect selfie spot. There are eight pagodas here, each one with its own purpose and specific teaching. So let's go check it out. So at the first pagoda, uh, we got to see a video about this building and what it's all about. And then a monk was nice enough to give me a book all about the history of Buddhism and what a nice book full of colorful pictures of the history and old architecture. So really cool. I love it. One of the pagodas hosts a wedding chapel. The chapel's style draws inspiration from western wedding chapel layouts with an eastern touch for a Buddhist atmosphere. The next pagoda hosts a bookstore with a variety of gifts and music series. It appears that about half of the pagodas are closed and the other half are mostly little stores, bookstores, or um, kids stores so yeah if you're into the tourist stuff then that's where you go to buy so apparently buddha is really into animatronic dinosaurs we're going to head up there now to the big gong bell and then a monk is going to do a prayer and some guys are going to hit that gong as the prayer goes up to heaven. We're about to step inside of the museum, but it seems like there's a lot of places we're not allowed to film. So let's see how much footage we can get and maybe we can surprise you. What a lot of people don't know is that this museum has 48 palace chambers underneath it. Each one storing a time capsule with artifacts from around the world. Every 100 years, one of these palace chambers will be opened and a new item will be placed inside and sealed off again for another 100 years. We made it to the rooftop of the museum and as you can see the big Buddha is right behind me. Here's a little secret, if you go to the room underneath the Buddha, you can actually practice some calligraphy. And this is what I did. <laughs> I'm quite impressed with myself. So it's really cool, you get this little paper and you can actually trace the calligraphy with a real ink pen. So um, definitely a cool thing to try out. 
took more than 1,800 tons of metal to cast the Falk Wong Big Buddha. The statue itself is 40 meters tall and it's seated on a 10 meter high platform with a total height at 108 meters. So this concludes the end of our trip here at the Buddha Museum and I think it was really informative and beautiful. The architecture here is interesting and definitely something to check out. What do you think Emily? Yes. <laughs> she says yes, so you have to. If you enjoyed it, give this video a like, press that subscribe button at the bottom and if you know of any cool places we should go and visit, please let me know in the comments section below. Thank you. Bye.